Good morning again. In case you're wondering, my name's Eric. Every day I have some thoughts, sometimes from scripture I read or just Bible verses that pop into my head. And today it's in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, and Paul is addressing maturity in our faith and unity amongst the body and not having divisions. And he says in there, Do you not know that you are a temple of God, or that your body is a temple of God? And when you really start to think about that, the temple was where God's presence dwelt amongst the Israelites. And so, if we are God's temple, our bodies are, then the Holy Spirit is dwelling within us. That's where we typically get a lot of that understanding of how the Holy Spirit interacts with us from. But then if you keep going, it really, it's, it's, it's all about unity and also not self-deception. Again, we think so highly of ourselves. We think we deserve more than what we have. We deceive ourselves very, very easily. And if we are God's temple, if our bodies are the temple for God's presence, which is the Holy Spirit, should we not be paying better attention to what we're putting into our bodies and to our minds, how we're taking care of them? Again, and this is not some sort of um, get on a health binge type of a thing, go on some sort of diet. No, that's not what I'm talking about, though I do think you know you should eat healthy and you should take care of your body, get proper rest and all of those good things. But it's more so spiritually. Are we spiritually taking care of the temple? And it's really interesting that right after that, Paul says, if you destroy God's temple, God will have nothing to do with you. Again, I'm kind of paraphrasing at this point. But that should chill our spines a little bit, make us think, well, if I am not properly taking care of what God has given me spiritually, I'm then cut off. Now, again, we are. T- he, Paul is talking directly to believers. I do not think this has anything to do with losing salvation. I do not think this really even has anything to do with hell. But what I do think it has to do with is the blessings that God has for us. You know, often, again, we can get down like, woe is me, how terrible this is ha- thing that is happening to me. And there are some miserable things that happen to us in life. But how much of it is due to our selfishness? How much of it is due to our self-deception? How much of it is due to our lack of confronting ourselves on our own sin and repenting of sin and then walking in the light of Jesus? A lot of this is not what we like to hear, especially in churches. We, we want to go there. We want to be lifted up. And, and yes, there is hope and there is joy, especially when we start focusing on the fact that Jesus is returning again and therefore we should rejoice in that and live accordingly. I think we just are so self-focused. And if God is dwelling with us, inside of us, in a, in a very real sense, then what right do we have to anything? Should we not be giving everything back to him? So, contemplate that. Maybe meditate on these things. Be encouraged, even though it's a hard thing to think through. Blessings. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me on my drive.